Hello and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. Today we have the last ink from the Anderson Pens collection from Scribal Workshops. This is Badger Black. Uh, Badger Black is a darn good black. We'll end this on a really good note. Uh, it's not the darkest black. It's not going to be uh, as dark as, say, Aurora Black or Noodler's Black or, um, uh, I don't know, Invincible Black from Private Reserve or some such thing. But it is a perfectly good black all on its own. It's uh, not really gray. It's saturated just to the point where it won't shade. So you're going to get a nice solid black. But it's not the darkest one, if you know what I mean. So uh, good, very medium sort of flow in that. This has uh, been in my uh, Lavin PF900, which is a pen I don't hear much about. And actually, I haven't blogged about mine either, which I ought to do. It's kind of an oversight. Uh, it's a very nice pen. Uh, it's got one flaw, which I'll talk about in a review eventually, but it does write super well, and it's got this nice little two-tone nib on the end of a, a nice uh, metal section. It writes really well. Usually it's kind of a medium flow nib, and this is a medium flow ink in there, so it works out real well. Uh, unlike some of the other inks in this collection, there's no dryness to be found here. It's very good. Very good. Perhaps not as free-flowing as Green Bay, but Green Bay is, um, well, kind of remarkable. So, there you go. All right. No problems with bleeding, feathering, or spreading. You have sort of a nice, uh, smooth swatch here. And you can see a lot of the different tones in this black. Um, not really any sheen, I don't think. Let me sort of put it in the light a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't really call that a sheen. It's just a little reflective bit in a uh, heavy ink area. But nah, no sheen, no real shading. Just sort of uh, good solid black writing. So if you're in the mood for just regular old black, and a lot of people use black. Apparently it's the most common uh, color of ink that's bought, which is interesting to me because I don't really buy blacks very often. Uh, Badger Black here, you can see it compared to, uh, well, no other blacks except for this one at the bottom, which is super dark. This is uh, Newler's Boston Brahmin, and I forget what pen that was in. Huh. Well, anyway, um, this is, which is a super dark black. Just, I mean, wow, look at that. That's uh, that's black as it gets. But you can see, comparatively, Badger Black is not quite as dark. You can see a little bit of line action there. Uh, maybe just a touch of shading there in that L, but this is Rhodius, so that's going to bring out any shading that's possible. Whereas in the Brahmin, and this is the sort of thing you would see from uh, Aurora Black and that sort of thing, just a solid wall of black. So, uh, not the darkest, but also not bad. It's not like it's a gray black or anything like that. It's just sort of not that dark. All right, let's see what it does underwater. I think it's probably going to have a little bit of mild resistance, but not a ton. Oh, there we go. You can see that all swirling around. That's very nice. Uh, not doing a whole lot of good for the old water resistance, but nonetheless, quite nice. All right, so let's go ahead and mop this up. Uh, where's a clean corner? This one's relatively clean. All right. Yeah, so quite a bit of it came up, but you can still see the lines. Uh, they're not totally gone or anything. Here in the middle where there was the most water for the longest, you see a bit more uh, leaving the page. Sort of mop this up a little bit more. Jeez. I really went overboard with the water on this one, huh? Uh, a, little bit cat, a little bit of cat hair there to help us out. So a lot of the black came up, but uh, nonetheless, you can still see the dots, you can still see the lines a little bit. So if you uh, happen to drop some water on this, well, you'll probably be able to recover your work, but not exactly waterproof or water resistant. This is not bulletproof in any sense. Um, so there's that. All right, so here is the chromatography for this ink. And you can see here, Quite a bit of it stayed at the bottom, which is a little surprising given that it didn't really have much water resistance here at all. Uh, and not really very many colors in this black. Sometimes blacks are just rife with colors. This one's got a little bit of, I don't know, maybe kind of green bluish on the edges and a little bit of, I don't know, it's almost mauve or something in there, but the rest of it's just black. Yeah, not very much in there. And if you look at the chromatography, if you look back at the chromatography for most of these inks from the scribal workshops that, uh, uh, ended up at Anderson Pens. They're uh, pretty monochromatic for the most part. The blues are blue, the purple is purple, black, mostly black. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Those guys do uh, interesting work over there at uh, Scribal Workshops. And this one is a very good, uh, very good ink. So this has been Anderson Pens Badger Black. Uh, it comes in uh, three mil samples, or you can get the bottle, which I want to say is 
And I've forgotten all of a sudden. I want to say it's 30 mils? Hmm, that seems too small. Anyway, it's some number of mils. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, there you go. That's Anderson Penn's Badger Black. Well done on the Badger Black. Uh, this has been Inkdependence.com. I am Mike. Uh, go to Inkdependence.com to check out the full review with lots of pictures on this ink. And also, go to Patreon.com slash Inkdependence to find out how you can lend your support to the Inkdependence.com uh, endeavor. Peace out, y'all.